So this is bin number two, part two of this bin. Um, I am unpacking six bins of clothing. I've been in this place for two months and um, I have very limited space uh, regarding like closets, putting stuff away. I have two very small closets this weekend. I just um, got a new dresser or got a dresser and it motivated me to unpack and start the process of having more clothing accessible to me as well as I will be doing a capsule wardrobe. So once I've fully unpacked all six bins and um, when I've like like I, I'm, I got a different sections of um, articles of clothing. So once I've gone through all six bins, put them in the different sections, I will be going through each section one by one. I've got three main sections. One is um, dresses, uh, jackets, um, sweaters, shawls, that's all one. The other is uh, bottoms, so pants, skirts, and shorts, and the third is tops, any type of tops. There are going to be a couple of subcategories. As of right now, I have another subcategories of things that needs repair, um, and I just have two articles of clothing in that as of yet. But yeah, let's get into it. So the first item here, it is um, a romper. It is a very, very shiny, very booby, um, very flowy. I got this, it's very disco-y. I got this probably, oh, four years ago now, I guess. Three, four, mm. I want to say three, four years ago. I got it um, to wear for a New Year's party uh, back when I was still with my ex. I wore it underneath, like, I think, it, I don't know if it was just me or if other people wore it, but I wore a onesie for um, New Year's and it was a large group of us. Um, and then I had this underneath and it was kind of a surprise being like, hello. Um, and I think that was the, f I think, I'm pretty sure that was the only time I wore it. I might have worn it once or twice afterwards, more as a top and then having the short kind of part, um, tucked into pants. Actually, that's really cute. Maybe I should do that again, um, if it fits or when it fits, but I will be keeping it, even though it does have memories associated with the X, it also has memories associated with um, girls that I used to be friends with. Um, but it, it's just really flattering. It's it's It makes me feel good. It makes me feel very groovy and um, it is very low cut on me. Um, it does have a really nice open back to it as well. I think that I got it at Sirens from what I remember. But I'm not sure. The tag, what does it say? Revamped. It could be Sirens. It could be Winners. Those are the kind of two stores that I have in mind that I frequent at that time. Um, I'm going to put this... I'm going to put it in the dresses because one of the closets has a divider and anything long... Um, I know this isn't long, but anything um, that's... Yeah, even shirts, some of them are like, it, it doesn't fit. So that's why it has that kind of jacket dresses. Like anything either heavy or long gets to put in that. Heavy as in like thick and puts takes more room because that closet is even quite narrow. So I'll put it in the dress section. Um, it's kind of a question mark, but that's where I'll put it for now. Um, and then this blazer here. It's like a camel, um, two, two pocket or two fake pocket, let's see, oh yeah, two real pockets, so I can actually put stuff in here. Um, I got this from, oh it still has the dry cleaner tag on it, I'm going to take that off. Um, I got this from a family friend about 
seven, no, nine years ago. I got this nine years ago uh, in between jobs. Uh, she got me a whole interview outfit. Um, she got me like a really nice top. And then I don't remember the, the pair of pants. I still have the top. Um, the pair of pants. Probably long gone, to be honest. Uh, I don't own any pants that old. Um, but anyways, yes. Yeah, so I got this jacket, the top, and the pants uh, from her. And I've worn this to different jobs. Um, like different office jobs. I've worn it to interviews. I feel very confident in it. It's very good business attire. I will be keeping it. Um, I'm not sure if it will be in the capsule wardrobe, same with the romper, but um, I will definitely be keeping it and we'll be putting it with the romper section. Uh, the next one is this very vibrant top with kind of this sequence flower pattern detail and then it's just this very palm, palm kind of tree kind of thing here. Um, I got it at Suzanne's, which is one of my favorite Canadian stores, and I love this color. I love this top. I love the store. Realistically, I might have only worn it a handful of times. I've worn it um, like in an office kind of setting and just worn it, uh, you know, with a pair of jeans. The issue is it hasn't fit me in a while. Like, and it's one of those tops where it's fairly tight in the chest area and the shoulder area and I do love it um, and I'm not really ready to part with it uh, but I could see in the future if it doesn't fit within the next year that might be a conversation that I'll I'll have with myself of you know I've had this for I think about four or five years and I've only worn it a handful of times um, so to me it kind of indicates even with weight fluctuations my weight fluctuates and my body fluctuates a lot um, that this might be too restrictive because of that so I like it and uh, yeah it's going to be put in the shirt section uh, this one here is a favorite of mine I got this at Suzanne's probably around the same time the four or five years I see that I have the um, dry cleaner tag left on there um, and it is this top it's I don't know I don't know how to describe it it's cap sleeve it's got like lace detailing in some areas um, it's like a v-neck it cinches at the waist where it's a good inch inch and a half of this lace detailing but it does cinch and then it is kind of like a longer top it does also have lace detailing at the bottom I don't know what pattern this is but I like it it has a drawstring um, this really uh, goes well with my weight fluctuation because of the material the fit it's great um, I feel like it really elevates any look that I have so uh, I've worn it for date nights. I've worn it out uh, for self dates as well. Um, I love going on self dates. Um, yeah, anytime that I'm feeling dressing up a little bit, even like I'll, I'll wear this. I might not necessarily wear this to um, like go grocery shopping, but if I'm meeting up a friend or if I'm just going out to like a coffee shop or a restaurant, um, like an outing, um, I'll wear it. Um, I just wouldn't do errands in it. It's more of a going out kind of top and I love it. I love it. Uh, the next one here is a dress. I got it at Suzanne's. Again, love that place. I would say probably about 25% of my wardrobe is from there. And like, I know 25% doesn't sound like a lot, but six bins is the bins that I've gone without for two months. So I do have like I, I do have a lot of clothing. Um, regardless of how many times I declutter, like at one point I only had two or three bins. But with my weight fluctuation, I had to rebuy probably 
two years worth of clothing every season because my weight was just fluctuating and I downsized it just to that sizing. So if I if my weight didn't fluctuate, two, three bins worth of stuff, like clothing, would work. But um, because of the weight fluctuation, because of like health stuff, it does that and um, I'm not like there are things I can certainly discipline with or be more disciplined in, but um, that's the reality. I've accepted it. I love myself any size, and um, instead of feeling guilty about it or feeling weird about it, I'm just going to accommodate and do things to make my life easier and having varying sizes or clothing that goes with my body with that, you know, stretcher material, um, cinched waist stuff, wraps, that's the way for for me and my body and my life so anyways um suzanne's i got this probably about four no six seven years ago i i remember specifically what period of time i was wearing this quite a bit um but anyways yeah it is a short summer dress love it zebra print with some rad colors it gives me 80s vibes um yeah, I've worn it out. I've worn it out karaoke. I've worn it out on dates. I've just worn it around the house. Um, this is one of those things I wouldn't necessarily wear, like, doing errands, you know, grocery shopping and stuff. But, like, if I'm meeting somebody, if I'm going to a cafe, karaoke, eating out, dates, hanging out with friends, this is a fun number to have. Uh, so I'll put that in dresses. Uh, the next one here is a linen blazer from Old Navy. I got this probably six years ago or so. I've worn it to work, job interviews. Um, I really like this uh, color and it kind of really goes well with my skin tone I think. Um, and yeah, it is kind of this burnt orange. Honestly, orange. A lot of orange colors uh, or orange undertones looks really nice on me. Um, but yeah, it's it's just this blazer goes really well. I like it with like a beige or brown top underneath. Um, yeah, like it, love it. Um, I'm not sure if I I will necessarily have this as a capsule wardrobe. I have one blazer that I absolutely love that I've seen in almost all my seasons of capsule wardrobes that may or may not um, be one of the staples for this capsule wardrobe, but we shall see. So the next one here, I'm laughing because it is a piece that I get complimented on a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, I got this, ooh, I would say between the nine to 14 year mark, kind of around there. Um, it's kind of like, I was a family friend that got it for me. We were shopping. I believe she got it for me. She was with me. We used to go shopping quite a bit. And she she was a catalyst of really learning on how to pick different clothing for my body and um, seeing the qualities and the varying qualities, finding good deals, really, yeah. like. Even though we went shopping a lot, it didn't necessarily mean that I, I or her purchased every time, but she took the time to really train my eye on finding good quality pieces that fit well, learning different trends, learning different cuts of clothing. Um, yeah, fantastic, fantastic uh, teacher. And I'm just looking. This might need to be in the repair section. I had this dry cleaned at least once or twice. I had, I think I had paint on it at one point, but I think there's lipstick on it again. Oh well, it adds character. It is this fake fur coat and it is beautiful and lush and fluffy. Oftentimes when I wear it, I get people asking if they can pet it. I always say yes. I mean, unless it's somebody that I get weird vibes from, but almost, almost, yes. I've made friends from it. I have one friend in particular that's why she invited me to her birthday party like a couple weeks after. 
Um, I've gone on a Valentine's Day date with it, gone to the strippers with it. I've